Welcome to the best of Flex Lewis. This is the final matchup in the first round of action, 2017 versus 2018. It appears the 2018 version is a little bit tighter in the conditioning edge, I would say. A little bit more massive, maybe. When I look at the arms, the arms are bigger in 2017, I think. Look at the triceps. But depending on the angle of the arm created, it's a, it's all about the illusion, perhaps. But either way, a slight edge to 2018 because of the conditioning. Let's have a look at the back developments. And I would definitely say 2018 is a little bit better. Look at the leg department. Much bigger, I would say. Now, as far as the back development alone and... 18 is right on par there with 17, but I think he's bending down a little bit too far in the 2017 picture. And when I look very close here, there's a little bit of vascularity going on in those traps that 2017 does not possess. I don't know. It just looks a little bit better in 2018, I think. Let's have a look at the front lat spreads. And much like all of the other comparisons, that thin skin in 2018 leads me to believe that he is in better condition. And the legs as well. But the point would go to 2017, in my opinion. His lats, look at the how much more filled out they are. My word. Perhaps the timing was off. I don't know. I can't make that excuse. Either way, I have no choice but to... And the 2017 version, the point. Look at that. That is a fantastic lat spread. As far as the rear lat spread is concerned, the 2018 version is slamming the door shut on 2017. Look at the trap. So much bigger and better. And the lats, they are jetting out. Look at the meat. A little bit of extra meat hanging out. And not to mention the legs. Bigger and much better. Look at that. Now, the calves are just as good, maybe even better in 2017. But, I mean, you're not going to win this competition on calves alone. Flex Lewis, known for a fantastic set of not only calves, but great forearms as well. And those forearms are being displayed quite predominantly here in the side chest pose. This is another one I would give a slight edge to 2018. From the legs to the to the pecs to the delts, much better delts, I, I find. And when I look at those glutes, that leads me to believe the conditioning is superior for sure. This is a blowout competition, in my opinion. We're going to finish this little contest off with this most muscular pose. This one really displays that dominance of 2018. Look at the pecs and the delts. And those are the two muscles that are utilized in this pose. And the arms, of course. Not so much the legs are pretty much right on par. Eh, maybe a little bit better still in 2018. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, this may be the year to bet on. As 2018 advances on to the next round of action. Move. And I really like how these second round matches are panning out. 2011 takes on 2013, and then 2016 does battle against this today's outstanding version, 2018. That, in my opinion, may be the best one. 2013 was very good, too. We'll have to wait and see. The next matchup, of course, will feature 2011 versus 2013. One to look forward to for sure, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not already. Please hit that subscribe button. Helps me a great deal. Reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and then, of course, beyond. Have a great day.